Do you enjoy R&B the most? Do you en enjoy CCM the most? Mm. I don't know. In your other life, you was a quartet singer. I don't know <laughs> what you're doing. So if you can only choose one, this is your day of reckoning. Which one are you doing? Gospel. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. gospel. I like the way it makes me feel. Come home. Come home, <laughs> Bo. Come home. <laughs> you just got amplified church hurt. Come home. My storage is empty. I'm going to come home. I'm available. Yeah, don't don't come home if the other thing don't work out. Nah, 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 nah. No, you got to come home. I... I just need this. I need this space. Yeah, then take a break. Yeah. But I need... Go in the cave of Agilum. Right, right, right down something on a lamb skin. <laughs> nah. Yeah, no. You The, the, <laughs> the problem is hard to be a child TV star and then try to find an adult acting role. Mm. Emmanuel Lewis walking around Atlanta. Mm. Can't work. Mm. You understand? Know you got to figure out in the evolution... Of not David Bowie. <laughs> no, the evolution of Dante Bowie is give yourself the space so that <clears throat> Bale doesn't become the stage. Right. I get that. I think for me, one, it's not, I get, it is some levels of church hurt, but I, Unlike a lot of artists that switch over, I, I'm still writing and singing on your favorite. Like, I'm the most played songs in church today. I Thank God and Gratitude are the highest streamed Christian songs today, like new songs that I just yeah. wrote, that I just put out. And so a lot of them, they forsake that and they do go to R&B, but I'm still, I'm still gospel if you look on paper. I ain't looking at paper. I'm and, looking at your cardiogram. But I'm looking at that heart. But I that heart, he wants you. He got me. Yeah, then come on over. You gonna give me a job? Sure. Sure. Now <laughs> what? Now what? This live right now. Now what? You can start Sunday. Man. But you coming out them fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep your sunglasses See. on, but I need a clear. See. I even let you do gel. But listen, that's Metallica, come on, meet me halfway. You can start Sunday. I'm not much invested in your future. I don't even need a person. But I don't want you to ever say in life that you wanted to in the church didn't make room. I will make room. That's how valuable you are. Respect. The offer stands. Respect. But I ain't coming to get you out of rehab. <sighs> I ain't going to rehab, man. Okay. I'm telling you, don't wait till you hit rock bottom when people are still reaching for you at where you are at this stage and where you are going next and how it is that it moves. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I went to high school in Baltimore and came to Morehouse. Mm -hmm. My dad brought me and Tupac here from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. I rode into Morehouse. My dad goes across the hall, takes Tupac to Clark. He made it to October. Digital Underground came for a homecoming. He dropped out of school to be a roadie. His life flipped immediately. Mm. I was just with um, some music people yesterday and told them I'm looking for a VHS tape. If I find this VHS tape, Dante, I never had to work again. <laughs> VHS tape is a youth day in Baltimore. Uh, Cedric Haley uh, and the Haley Singers. That's Casey and Jojo. Mm hmm they were doing quartet music at the time. Tupac gave a spoken word, and I was the youth preacher. We was all 15. And to see where life took our paths on different tracks. Right. When all of us started in the church. All of us had our own journeys, had our own ups and downs. 
uh, but the brotherhood of safeguarding the people who are special is difficult because it's the loneliest place you'll ever be. Mm -hmm. When you got to carry everybody. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And they can't even speak into you because you know that you on a different frequency, on a different kind of level. Um, By the way, people, this is our first day meeting. (laughs) (laughs) But this this is my brother from another mother. Mm -hmm. You you got a big brother now. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, nobody ever preaches or teaches or writes on the loneliness of being gifted Mm -hmm. on what that means. Um, And you are in a a testamental period of trying to find that space and that move without people who are trying to use you for your gift. And I want you to know you got a brother in Atlanta that loves you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I want to see you so well. Thank you. What's next? <laughs> um, next is my my a new record. What's Working it called? On. I can't say what it's called right now. They gonna get mad at me. But how many songs on it? Probably like twelve. But I recorded like two hundred. <laughs> oh wow! I recorded two hundred songs and twelve. And I'm I mean I'm producing some from Maverick actually. Are you really? Yeah. I'm producing Tasha's new David and Goliath joint. Um, I want you to produce my album. I would. I can't sing, though. You don't have to. Can I tell you what kind of album I want? Exactly, yeah. That's... You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I want an Afro Beats album. Oh, yeah, I could definitely do that. Okay. I, I told Jay, but she left me. So I I need you to take it. We can do it together. (laughs) Get some money. Yeah. Nah, but I, yeah, that's what's coming up next, man. Like, I'm in a movie. Have you worked with an Afrobeat artist? Mm Mm-hmm. I released an Afrobeat song. Did you really? I performed it on BT. It's like top 50. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. I did it with- The uh, stars have a line. mm Mm-hmm. I perform. yeah. I have an Afrobeat joint. I love that type of style. Like that style is like something that I've been into the last two years, honestly. Yeah. So I was I was glad I got to collab with um I did it with Anthony B. And um he he made it like easier for me to do it. I right. just gave him most of the parts. <laughs> but right. uh yeah, I I did an Afro Beast record. Okay. I'm next. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. Let's do it. Let's do it. I had uh Ricky Smiley on the show. My brother. And uh, I asked him, what's his go-to favorite hymn? Mm. What's yours? You by yourself, you in the shower, you sitting by the side of the bed, and you got one song to bring you through in the clutch. You going to what? Tis so sweet, maybe. Man, not to trust in Jesus. Mm-hmm. Just to trust him. Mm-hmm. I ain't heard that in a month of Sundays. My grandmother told me that song a long time ago. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now, where are you from? Rockingham, North Carolina. Are you really? Mm-hmm. I used to drive through Rockingham. I went to Duke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of my family went to Duke, actually. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm from the the country, for real. Yeah, no. You on the way to Lumberton. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The furniture capital of the for world. Real. Yeah. For I, real. You ain't think I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. I went to a church. Where are you from? Rockingham, North Carolina. Rockingham. Mm-hmm. When I was in seminary, I don't even know where this guy is. I went to this church in Rockingham. The pastor had a keyboard in the pulpit. Oh, for real? He had a keyboard in the pulpit, and he would sing and then get up and then go, go preach. You know who I'm talking about? I don't know. I need you to find him. I when I tell you he was cold-blooded. For real? Woo! He was, cold, he was cold he was cold blooded. Yeah, he didn't need no choir. That sounds like something that would go down in Rockingham. Yeah, now. he didn't need no choir. <laughs> he was he was a one man band. Mm-hmm. Now he wasn't saying nothing, but it sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed all of it. I used to take people from the seminary, like, man, you got to hear this guy. Yeah. They're like, why? 
Yeah. He has something in that throat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the kind of people that can sing and smoke Newports. My it's a what... different kind of gift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mama probably know who it is. I'm going to ask her. Yeah, ask her. Mm. Ask her, how many siblings do you have? Two. Are they in the church? Sister and brother, yeah. And what they feel about what you're doing? They love it. They going on tour with you? No, they work. Man, my family. <laughs> yeah, they from they Rockingham. Work, man. They, they from Rockingham for real. Only person yeah. like is like my mom would travel with me. My mom would stop anything to go with me. But um, other than that, like my family, they're working people, man. Okay. Yeah, they're not impressed no more. What Im- what impresses you now? What impresses me? Wow, that's a crazy question. What impresses me? Nothing. Wow. I have great friends that impressed me before, but then it's like now we're so close. It's been three decades of friendship that that doesn't even impress me. Real people don't even impress me. Mm. You know, I don't know. Music doesn't impress me. Great artists don't impress me. Good preachers don't impress me. That's because you haven't heard me yet. Money don't impress me. Yeah, don't say that. (laughs) Don't say that because you still want a green room. So don't don't say don't say that. You got Fiji water on the rider contract. So don't say that. It's some stuff that you got to do. What impresses you? What impresses me? Maybe is, that will spark something. Yeah, no, no, no. People who are talented in more than one thing. Okay. What impresses me is the rare gift of people who are gifted and humble. Mm. So the church. Dante is the only culture that cultivates fake humility, not false humility. Mm. So somebody can come off of a pulpit, sing to the glory come down. Mm -hmm. Dante, you killed Oh, thank you, man. (laughs) (laughs) In no other genre do you got to apologize for being gifted. Right. It's only in the church. Oh, man, y'all pray for me. I've, I've been singing this week. You ain't never heard no R&B singer come out there with a towel around their neck. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Tell nah, bring me tea. True. No, man. Do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> bring me tea. Yeah, no. So, no. Humility impresses me from people who can produce. And you're an humble guy. Thank you, man. You just got to get back to church with clear polish. Yeah. Maybe. Did you paint your toes? No. Thank you. Thank you, Alpha. That's enough. I don't even want to know nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about no other parts of your body. Thank you so very much. I uh, I think I, I know what impresses me. Tell me. I think my mother impresses me. Wow. Because she just don't care. Like, my mom's going to love me like this for the rest of her life, yeah. the rest of my life. And um, I can, like, be slow to give her something. My mom always asks me for money all the time. Yeah. And I just pay her. I give her. I pay her. My my employee. (laughs) I'm always giving her stuff. But you know, it's crazy. Like lately, like she would just start doing stuff for me like all the time. Like, and I I was like, man, you just don't change and you do it fast. You do whatever you got to do for me fast. Like whether it be cooking or like do whatever I asked her to 